100 auto win cards versus the most overrated deck I have ever seen. And it all revolves around one theory. I want cards that end Sky Striker's life. And there are 100 cards in this game that literally end Sky Striker's not turn, they end the duel. So if you're ready for the video, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, grow your beard, and let's get straight into the video. Everyone knows Sky Striker's won the YCS. What everyone doesn't know is that the deck is trash. I can't fathom for the life of me how you guys let Sky Strikers win this event. Sky Strikers is by far, by far, the most easy deck I've ever seen to crush after side decking. And we're not talking MST or Cosmic Cyclones, we're talking auto win, as in draw one of these 100 cards and you win the duel automatically. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Imperial Order, draw this going first, you win. Draw this going second, you win. Draw this going anywhere, you win. All right, next. Number two, number three, number four. Eradicator. And you know what? There's not just three Eradicators. There's six Eradicators because you can play Trap Trick as well. There are three Trap Tricks, three Eradicator, Epidemic Virus, which you resolve this card or Imperial Order, you auto win. Those are seven cards you can play already, all right, that are auto win. Now, there's more. Trap Trick doesn't even, if you can't play Eradicator, that's okay. Trap Trick could search you full house, which is also an auto win versus that deck. So there's 10 auto wins for you. And you know what? There's more. Trap Trick could also search evenly matched, which is another auto win versus that deck. You have 13 auto wins already, and we haven't even started. Like, these are cards everyone already knows. Maybe not uh, the full house, but everyone knows these. Next, the worst card in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, Anti-Spell Fragrance. Another auto win if you play a decent deck. Those are 16 already, and honestly, we still have 84 to go. Like, this list hasn't even started. And you already have 16 auto wins, more than an entire side deck. Now, my personal favorite, if you play a good deck, aka Pendulums, you have Spellcasters in your deck. Hence, you play Seeker Village. This is also an auto win, which a lot of decks could play. You just link into a, a random... Uh, uh, at the end of your combo, whatever you do, you can play Orcus. You go play Thunders, doesn't matter what deck you play, you can Salamangre. You can just link it to some random ass spellcaster, and then drop a fat secret village on their ass, and then strikers are crying, because they can't do anything against that deck. What are you going to do against secret village? MST? You can't activate it. You can't even chain to it like an anti spawner in Imperial Order. So get wrecked, son. Okay, next. How about the infinity cards that search secret village? Terraforming, Metaverse, Set Rotation, that's 22 already. And you know what? What about Planet Pathfinder? If you play a good deck like Pendulum, you can just Pendulum summon this guy. If you play a deck that doesn't get a normal summon, just normal summon him. You got 26 already that are auto wins. Because the second you get Secret Village or any of these auto win cards, you win. And as I said at the beginning of the video, this is how you beat Sky Striker. Not, I hope I draw Cosmic Cyclone to take care of their one of three interruptions. No, no. You win by not letting them activate spell cards. That's how you win. 26 already. Okay, next, what about a card that s stopped seeing play after uh, Grass got banned? Left Arm Offering. Seeker Village is so damn good that I don't give a fuck if you normal summon a Spellcaster Monster or 1500 attack. Just summon a Spellcaster Monster or 1500 attack. Okay, and then banish all the rest of the three cards and get Seeker Village. That's how good Seeker Village is. But obviously, you're not going to do that. Obviously, you're going to do your whole combo, and at the very end of your combo, let's say you're playing Orcus. Orcus, you can put up multiple in the gates, but at the very end, you just... Uh, it's, well, Orcus is a little tougher, because you can only go into dark monsters. But dark, go into a dark spellcaster at the very end. If you play Thunders, go into a spellcaster, go into whatever, and then the last two cards you don't even need is Left Arm. And Left Arm and Thunders is actually sick, because you actually do something with the cards that get banished. We got Hey True Nate, 29 through 31. Hey True Nate, which is also an amazing card, which... Uh, stop seeing play, but it's auto win going second versus that deck. Danko Seka, the best auto win of them all, and just auto win. Uh, next, Spell Counselor. If you put any deck that's good, you just tribute summon it and win. Next, uh, except for decks that need normal summon, but decks that need normal summon basically suck. 38 through 40, Mechanical Hound. Does the exact same thing as Spell Counselor if you don't draw the Spell Counselor, and you play Pendulum, you just Pendulum summon any of them. So, nice auto win. Next, Ibli. This card's amazing. I'm not talking about. Uh, giving it to them on their turn when you go first, which is also a good play because you're gonna need area zero or multi roll to stop it, and 
they can't engage to search any of them. So they're going to use Area 0 or Multi-Roll to pop them. Then you could simply go, go into a Dragster and negate the one Multi-Roll or one Area 0 that they have to hard draw. Which, no, everyone plays three total Area 0s. Two Area 0s and a Terraforming and one Multi-Roll. So there's four cards. Go Dragster and give them Ibli and you auto win. They can't do anything. And put all your stuff in defense or something. So they can't attack either. Like, just your only link card allowed is Seal. So you just tribute it and bounce back one of your own cards. And then they can't, uh... There's, their Ibli's gonna stay there forever and you win. Next, Santa Claus. A Kaiju that no one knows. Uh, 44 through 46. And no one knows what this card does. The reason I put Santa Claus here is because it's also searchable. So you have six Santa Clauses. You get Santa Claus here, or you get Searcher with Script Sculptor. And just like that, you got six Kaijus for free. I don't give a shit if they draw because I can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. And then you just auto-win after that. Next. The next 20 slots. Kaijus. <laughs> 20 of them. Kaijus. Arguably the best side deck card out of all of these. Because you can play it versus good decks as well. You have 70 already. 70 side deck cards. Like I said, they're not like Cosmic Cyclone. All these 70 are better than Twin Twister. They're all auto wins. Like, they're not hard to resolve. You literally just draw, resolve. It's that easy. But for some odd reason, no one's playing these cards. And it baffles me. Because you have 70 of these auto wins. Like, they're auto wins. And I haven't even got to other good ones yet. Like, like out of the 70, you mean I'm, if you're going first, okay? Let's say you want to, uh, let's say they're too defensive. Let's say you don't even, can't even do anything. What about throw, if you're going first, throw Obi Raptors and Fossil Digs into your deck. And search for the Goran Kaiju. It's a dinosaur. Uh, it's possible to get over here, over there at it. And you have a free monster to do your combo with. And you have a Kaiju for the following turn. And you just auto-win again. Like, it just, that's 76. That's amazing. I would not recommend Obi Raptor and Fossil Dig going first. But if your opponent thinks, if you're playing Ib Turbo, throw it into Goran. Now you have seven outs to the whole deck. Obviously, they're going to negate it with a Widow Anchor if you go second. That's what I'm saying going first. Uh, Obi Raptor gets uh, the, the Goran for next turn. So next turn, you just auto-win again. Shut off their whole stuff. And just win. Next, Dimension Shifter. We play a shit deck, you go throw a Dimension Shifter. The other 80 cards I already mentioned are for good decks. Now, uh, the worst out of all these cards, Twin Twister. Uh, talk about everyone sides three Twin Twister and think, oh, I'm safe. Twin Twister, I'm good. I'm good for Sky Circuit. But I just put Twin Twister. None of these are in order. They're not in order of the best, but 80th, 81st, and 82nd of. 100 cards to side against Sky Strikers, and Twisters aren't even in the top. It's like I said, it's not in order, but like just to show you how many good cards there are, they made 80, 80 for 80 seconds. Not in order, but still. Next, we got Waking the Dragon. Uh, the second this gets popped, you summon Ateria Exterior or Ultimate Falcon. So, GG Sun, okay? Uh, there we go. That's 86 or something. Next, Cyberstein. Bring out Exterior, call it a day, you auto win. It's hilarious how many auto wins are out there. Now, what about the best deck in the world auto wins? Endymion, you just summon Endymion by its own effect. So, you summon out Endymion by its own effect, okay? So, Spellfire Mastery and Endymion, there's six of them. You summon out by its own effect, now it can't be targeted. What the hell is, is Strikers going to do to take care of a monster that can't be targeted or destroyed, huh? What are they going to do? Plus, you have multiple negates to protect it. Nothing, that's what they're going to do. They're going to do nothing. They're going to pass their turn and watch you destroy them and end their miserable life. Sorry, a little dark there. But it's th that's how good these cards are. And now, to re that's that's 100, that's 90 something. I, I can't even count right now. Uh, next, if you're playing the best deck in the world, what about Amorphage Leckery? This card says if you control an Amorphage monster, hint, hint, hell, LP summoning out Sloth, you put Leckery in the scale, which you get by Electrum. And it says your opponent can't activate spell cards. Nice. You win again. They can't use MST in the stamp, stamp base. Nothing. It's just an auto win. You can even use seal to bring out sloth. And they can't, like, if you can't LP it. Like, you could do literally whatever on earth you want. To use all you need is just le Leckery in your hand. Or Electrum added. So it's even searchable. So you have infinite ways to destroy Sky Striker. It's hilarious. Uh, so those are all the, the main deck monsters. Extra deck monsters. Electrum. Curious. Because Electrum gets out of the Endymion or the Morphage if you're playing Pendulum, which you should be if you have a brain. And uh, Curious in every other deck to send any of these trap cards I'm talking about. You don't just have to hard draw them. Curious. You can even put Dangerous as auto win because they just make Curious and get the Imperial Order. And get the Metaverse or get the whatever hell you want. And then Griffin to set it. So you can literally do whatever on earth you want to destroy this deck. It's unbelievable, but people just don't see it. I can even write top 200 cards to destroy Sky Striker because danger, every danger in the game, because every danger will equal a Curious, which will equal an auto win, right? Which will equal Griffin. Kieran Gorgon, a rank, another auto win. You're, you can't Widow or target any of this stuff. Good GG, it's over. And next, Ultimate Falcon and 
Nateria Exterior. So that's like what, 105, 104? I can't count. I can't. It's called Auto Win, baby. It's called 2 0. Guys, what's going to happen versus Guys Strike? You can even give them game one for free. Because game two and game three, you use literally any of these 104 cards and absolutely obliterate them. If you notice it, there's no Cosmic Cyclones, MSTs, Eccentrics. There are none of them in here. Or Ash Blossom, not even Draw and Lockbird. Draw and Lockbird did not make my top 100 cut cards to side against Sky Strikers. Why? Because there's that many good cards. You just destroyed their, their you can't let, don't let them activate spell cards and you auto win. And that's essentially what all these cards do. I didn't even put Macrocosmos, Dinosaur, Radiance, none of these. Like we're talking auto win cards. I didn't even put Dragsters, like I'm talking about auto wins. Hope this video is informative for you guys. And I could sit down and probably think of 1,000. Sky Strikers suck, play a good deck. I said Sky Strikers are fourth in my last top five meta list. I changed it to number five. The deck is garbage. Pendulum Bust Deck. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.